What's good, Josh? Your boy Ross back out again with another video. So we're gonna check out ten times WWE was forced to censor a moment. We live in a different day and age. I say this all the time on like the older clips and compilations. Can't say that anymore. Can't do that anymore. Well, sometimes uh, WWE they have to blur out some things because they have uh, uh, they have partners and sponsorships and. It's a lot of things that go into them making more money. And sometimes these partners and sponsorships don't want uh, certain things to be shown. And they have uh, TV regulations. They have to make sure they are in a line with. So they got to censor some stuff. Does it suck sometimes? For the most part, yes. But sometimes it makes sense. You know, this is a quote unquote family friendly uh product so we're gonna check this out man appreciate all the love and support you guys have been showing on the channel let's do the damn thing man but there are certain things that aren't allowed to be broadcast oh, yeah. on live television from obscene swearing to nudity to excessive violence all of these have appeared at some point classic in the truly segments. established history of wwe's oh, live my God. programming Although these moments were common during WWE's oh my God. Attitude Era, they have also <laughs> occurred during the more tame yeah. Ruthless Aggression Era and PG eras in WWE. But which moments were they? Well, join us now as WrestleMania looks at 10 moments WWE was forced to censor. The Mickey James one will always be a classic one. <laughs> Be sure to subscribe and hit that moment. notification oh, bell for gosh. daily wrestling videos and follow <laughs> us on Facebook for exclusive lists. Number 10, Mae Young at the 2000 Rumble. Now, the Royal Rumble pay-per-view in 2000 is widely regarded as one of the best pay-per-views of the Attitude Era. It featured classic oh, matches such as God, Triple H vs Cactus Jack and the Dudley Boys vs the Hardy Boys. But outside of these matches, there was a segment on the show that featured the women of the WWE competing in a swimsuit contest. Oh it God. was a true train wreck, and oh it got considerably God. worse when look the infamous at, Mae Young appeared and decided to rip off her outfit, oh. exposing everything. Oh no. The king died. Rest in peace, Mae Young. But the king. Ah! I'd be doing my eyes! My eyes! This would have melted. <laughs> Even though there were prosthetics, the replay would have to censor this controversial moment. Mm -hmm. But the rather raunchy moment didn't sit well with pay per view providers, especially mm. in the UK. The UK network Channel 4 were furious with WWE and were oh, wow. baffled how WWE would allow something like this to air on pay-per-view, even though this happened at around 2 a.m. in the morning. This Damn. forced Channel 4 to air all future pay-per-views with a delay, allowing them to edit out anything they felt was inappropriate for their viewers. Oh. The Channel 4 for the UK viewers was a double-edged sword. It would be free television, but that meant that the pay-per-view would have ad breaks in between. Number oh, 9, damn. Nia Jax screams my hole. Now, the lackluster feud <laughs> between Nia Classic. Jax and Lana dominated <laughs> WWE programming my throughout hole. 2020 and 2021. Despite the awful nature of the storyline on offer, it did feature one memorable moment that yeah. forced WWE my to censor Nia. During a match between the two on Raw, Nia Ooh. would miss a leg drop on the apron, and she decided to randomly shout out... <laughs> It was hilarious, and fans watching at home were in total oh disbelief my, as to bro, what they. That was. It just became a meme. It became a funny meme. My whole. <laughs> just heard. The WWE naturally censored the moment in all preceding replays, but it didn't of take course. away from the fact that this was one of Nia's <laughs> most memorable. In memory of Nia Jack's whole. <laughs> moments during her entire run in the company. That says a lot. Number 8. Brock Lesnar loses it at WrestleMania 34. At WrestleMania 34 wasn't the best outing for Brock no, Lesnar. It was he not. competed in the main event against Roman Reigns, but the match was met with heavy criticism from fans. Yeah. The match would be hijacked from the fans in attendance as yeah. they had very little desire to see it take place. Once again, y'all, yeah, man, that era of Roman was just, he just could not get over fans destroyed this match i mean absolutely just this is one of the worst main events i think i've ever actually sat through and watch in a sense of how much the crowd did not give two flying f's about this match 
series, and as the main event title match went on, Lesnar gradually got more and more frustrated. Mm -hmm. As the match slowly turned into a finisher fest, Lesnar began to hit F5 after F5 on Reigns to try and get the fans invested in the match, but it simply didn't work. But after one specific F5 attempt, Lesnar screamed, F5s! Heyman and Lesnar in disbelief! <laughs> the WWE were quick to censor Lesnar's outburst. Mm, Number seven, Charlotte Flair flips the fans off. Yep. And the Money in the Bank pay-per-view in 2021 was a special pay-per-view for fans. It was the first pay-per-view to feature a max capacity audience since early 2020, and it featured a fantastic crowd who were delighted mm -hmm. to finally see the WWE product live Fox, in the flesh was, once again. One. But one of the stars that fans wanted to see at the pay-per-view was Becky Lynch. Yep. As Becky had been absent from WWE television for the majority of the pandemic, and they couldn't wait to see her back on screens. But during the Charlotte Flair vs. Rhea Ripley match, fans would begin to champ for Becky, but this didn't sit well with the multi-time champion nope. who decided to flip the she fans off. off. Classic moment. Motivated Ripley to one day face and defeat the Queen. <laughs> yep. The WWE quickly censored the moment mm -hmm. the best they could, but it was clear that the fans chanting for someone not featured in the match clearly struck a nerve with the multi-time women's champion. Number six, Daniel Bryan gets exposed. A Daniel Bryan is one of the most gifted technical wrestlers to ever lace up a pair of boots, but even someone such as Bryan isn't immune to an entire malfunction. Oh, no. At the 2020 Elimination Chamber pay-per-view, the opening match featured Bryan taking on Drew Gulak. The match was an excellent showcase of both their skills, but it featured a notable malfunction. As Brian was being suplexed over the top rope, one of his balls popped out of his trunks. Oh no! The WWE were quick to censor that exposed body part, and they would later change the camera angle for the replay of the match, meaning there was no longer any need for censorship. Ah, A damn. similar thing would later happen in the match, ah, as damn. when Brian was being dragon suplexed from the turnbuckle, it once again popped out, and WWE decided to take the same measures they did with the previous moment. Number 5, Jeez. the WWF logo. In 2002, WWF were forced to change their name to WWE. WWE yeah. This was due to the Worldwide Fund for Nature winning ownership of the WWF name, and mm -hmm. as a result of this legal battle, it meant that WWE had to censor absolutely everything that featured the classic Scratch logo. Now th yep, for those who don't know, that's that WWF was a thing, and then what, what, it, what it originally was, and then they lost a little suit with the, uh, the Wild Life something foundation, whatever he just said. They lost that, so they had to change it to WWE, which means they had to blur out all the other stuff that said WWF on it. They had to because of copyright reasons. The issue here was that WWE was big on branding, so they had stuck this classic logo on virtually everything in sight. This had become a huge problem, as whenever WWE aired any old footage from days gone by, they were forced to blur the logo. But fast forward to 2012, and they were finally allowed to once again use the popular logo. Oh. WWE were then allowed to show the logo in a historical sense, but using the logo in any new content was strictly oh, forbidden. Okay. Number four, Vince McMahon breaks his own guidelines. Our WWE superstars are traditionally forced to follow scripted material when delivering a pro- Vince is the one person. There's a few people in the company that can. Vince is the one person that can actually, I, I'm pretty sure I have an idea what he about to talk about where Vince started cussing. <laughs> like legit cursing. Like he can, he can do that. It's rare that he does it, but he can because he's CEO. <laughs> promo and one thing that is strictly forbidden is going off script to throw curse words into a promo yeah one individual who set the standard for this is wwe chairman vince mcmahon but in 2016 he decided to randomly curse during a promo on raw yep this promo took place when shane mcmahon had returned to wwe vince informed shane that he would be facing the legendary undertaker at wrestlemania 32 inside the dreaded hell in a cell mm -hmm. he would then inform shane that he was going to get a well this Beating you, okay? beating yeah. you this would be censored on live broadcast on the show and later replays of the show would edit out the line entirely. Number three, Spike TV censored the WWE Vince. chairman. The WWE homecoming show in 2005 saw WWE return back to their home at the USA Network. The relationship between WWE and Spike TV had broken down substantially, as on the Raw before the WWE was set to move to USA, Vince McMahon cut a promo promoting the move, and the Spike TV network censored Vince every single time that he mentioned the rival network. Oh, wow. Sweet Monday Night Raw returns back. 
This seemed insanely petty on behalf of Spike. Wow. Events reportedly ordered the Raw commentary team to name drop the USA Network at every opportunity they could. And at first, Spike actually decided to censor the Raw commentary team, but they eventually gave up when the commentary team were persistent in getting the message across Raw was moving to a brand new network every five minutes. Damn. Two, Brock Lesnar. That's crazy. Even there was like, nah. Nah, no. Y'all nobody gonna know where y'all going. It's like, damn. Man, that's super, super petty. Goes off script. On the past draft landscape at WWE in 2016, Brock is one of those people that can go off script as well. Traditionally <laughs> struggled on television, received that all important television time to showcase their skills. One of these talents was Heath Slater, who had become a free agent and he was involved in some downright memorable segments, yeah. which really showed that Slater had a ton of potential. One of the most memorable segments during this oh run for Slater God. saw him Funny interrupt segment. Brock Lesnar. He would inform Lesnar that he needs to acquire a WWE contract to support his kids. And this is when Lesnar informs Slater that <laughs> I don't, don't give, give a shit about your kids. kids. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you. That was funny. And it was funny because, once again, I'm sure they didn't tell him to say that in the back. But it's Brock Lesnar. What are you gonna do? If he wants to go off script and curse, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? <laughs> this was censored out of the live broadcast on Raw, and the line wasn't actually in the initial script for the show. I can tell Lesnar that randomly it. decided to go off script in order to enhance the segment, and it certainly did Bro, just that. And number one, Randy Orton flips the bird. Now, although the build to WrestleMania 31 wasn't the strongest, the build towards Seth Rollins and Randy Orton's match mm -hmm. on the grandest stage that was delivered good. some fantastic that segments. That was so good. One of these took place on the 9th March Love 2015 edition of Raw, as Rollins and Orton would team up to face Roman Reigns in a handicap match, and when Rollins went for a tag, Orton yep. proceeded to flip the bird towards Rollins. Yeah. It received a thunderous <laughs> reaction from the live crowd, and due to WWE being a PG product, they had to it move was censored. The a WWE on a fan. They had to like you know what i'm saying kind of move the camera now that was such a cool moment bro oh my god this makes me want to go back and watch that match again and of talent flipping the bird and it was reportedly during wrestlemania 38 that the wwe production team ordered stone cold steve austin that he wasn't allowed to flip the bird but stone yeah. cold being stone, stone cold, cold bro. naturally ignored the demand it's unclear if Orton went off script during the segment, as during the replay of the show, this moment would be edited out so fans couldn't actually see the Viper's hands. Either way, it was a great moment that took the feud to the next level. But they nah, have that moment was fantastic. Love that match at uh, WrestleMania. I think that was WrestleMania 31. Fantastic. But comment down below. Let me know. Are you guys a fan of the censoring? You know, the censorship of certain situations in certain segments like some of these are you guys a fan of it or do you guys think wwe should you know be able to let people kind of get away with it here and there you know what i'm saying let me know how you feel about that because i know a lot of uh wrestling fans have children that watch the product so maybe you don't want them seeing certain things or hearing certain things or do you think it should be a little bit more edgier a little bit more on the uh adult side let me know what you think about that but uh appreciate all love and support road to 90k appreciate y'all kicking with me see y'all next one peace